I missed this earlier in the year, but the Lockheed Skunk Works compact fusion reactor concept I briefly mentioned in one of my videos looks to have been overestimated. I'm no nuclear physicist, as you might imagine, but the promise of this concept was that more plasma could be completely contained in such a way that minimised loss of energy through the sidewalls, as happens with other designs. With this magnetic bottle containment design, the idea was that more of the magnetic field pressure could be utilised, and therefore a fusion reactor could be made on a much smaller scale than other kinds of reactors, such as tokamaks. The initial design was for a 20 ton 100 megawatt nuclear reactor, small enough to fit on the back of a truck, but now with more research it seems that all the apparent advantages of this design over others are flying out the window like speeding neutrons, because their new calculations have simulated a 200 megawatt design at a weight of 2000 tonnes. Interesting idea, but as often happens when more research is done, it doesn't hold up to its initial promises. They had this whole new reactor idea they were getting excited about, but in a way they were too eager to leapfrog over other reactors and to try and miniaturise fusion before it had even been made viable elsewhere, and to run before they could walk, so they overestimated its potential. To see an organisation like Lockheed make this claim was very unusual and promising, but they overstepped the mark. They claim now that by using 15 superconducting magnets they can get the size of the reactor design down to 200 tonnes, but it seems they won't be rocketing past other attempts at fusion power in any case. I'll keep watching and see if they can achieve even that goal after getting egg on their face. At the very least Lockheed is a major prestigious corporation and not some cranks in a shed somewhere, so they should be able to achieve something even if it is over budget, oversized and over schedule. They are part of the American military industrial complex after all.